Now, BARC, uh, an association of uh, Broadcasting Audience Rating Council, which is responsible to measure the television ratings, has suspended the ratings for three months. So NBA has welcomed this 12 weeks ratings ban on news uh, channels and many have also started asking for its ban forever as it disturbs the, the sanctity of the true journalism and many get into the sensationalization as well. Now we, this comes amidst the TRP controversy that uh, involved three major channels, two regional ones and one national channel. So this is coming amidst this controversy where the TRP scam was exposed. Many people who had barometers at their homes installed for reading of the ratings or reading of the news channels were being paid. So this scam was exposed after which this decision comes from Bark and News Broadcasters Association have also welcomed this move and as I said earlier as well, many news professionals are also demanding to end it forever for the spirit of true journalism. Now imagine every week a new rating comes which also influences ad revenue. Lot of advertisers look at this and then decide where their money goes. A few weeks back, many advertisers had taken a stand of not sponsoring hate media. So this will definitely encourage a lot of advertisers to have a new look at this entire model. Now, as a channel, NDTV is also welcoming this move. We have Sonia Singh joining uh, us on this move. Now, Sonia, this comes amidst the TRP scam, which was exposed. One uh, national news channel was named and two regional channels were also named in this scam. Well, I think, uh, Arun, this has really become about a much larger issue. And as the NBA has said in its statement, it's really also about the importance of uh, media to our democracy and how important it is that uh, the so-called uh, rating system, which looks at what India watches, is also credible. And I think that uh, the NBA and, of course, the NDTV is part of the News Broadcast Association. We're a founder member. We all felt very strongly, every member, that with the credibility of uh, these ratings have been brought into question. I mean, of course, the recent scam, which has now reached the Supreme Court as well. There was an urgent need for a reset of how these ratings were actually being carried out, what was the credibility of it, what was the process, what was the transparency. This is actually something that NDTV has as a channel raised more than eight years ago, where we've actually gone to court about this, saying that these ratings are manipulated and that, in fact, rather than showing what India watches, they actually almost encourage bad journalism. And I think this is what uh, the dilemma that uh, the ratings agency now found itself in, and we're very happy that they have themselves come out with a way to relook, reset, and uh, actually go back to the drawing board and see how to come out with a robust system which cannot be manipulated. Everybody, viewers are free to watch what they want to, but there must be an accurate measurement system. And uh, this is really a matter of editorial freedom. So we welcome this because uh, we have heard from newsrooms across the board how journalists are under pressure that the journalism they do should be TRP wala. I think hopefully that will stop with this. Uh, pause on TV ratings and hopefully we see an improvement in TV journalism all around us. Right, uh, Sonia, this is Gargi here. Now, uh, this outcome of Bark pausing the weekly ratings, going in for this three-month review of the entire systems, as you said, something very welcome by NDTV because also when this case was filed and the Mumbai police, you know, spoke about how the TRP systems are being gamed, many were uncomfortable about, you know, having the police actually investigate this and having this case, you know, going before the courts, etc. And they felt it would be better if there was some soul-searching and from within the systems were improved, isn't it? Absolutely, and uh, Gargi, of course, very strongly uh, support uh, the self-regulation process, and which is why uh, we thought that the television ratings agency, and this is something which the News Broadcaster Association has raised strongly with them, that they themselves must look into the fact. Because, I mean, remember, after all, this FIR was filed by a, a research agency collecting data for BARC. So BARC itself must really look at its own systems. It's not, it's, 
this has come out with this um, Mumbai police press conference, but even before as well, it's been raised by various member channels. Yes. So it is Bach that needs to clean up its system. It is ridiculous, the number of meters. Of course, uh, we all know sampling, but uh, even as we look at election opinion polls, the credibility is by the size of the samples. And the size of samples currently are just not enough to measure a country like India. And if we, even those meters, people meters, can be manipulated so easily for a sum of 500 rupees uh, to a person, you are actually talking about, I mean, it's, uh, when we say scam, it's because you actually are talking about crores of advertising revenue, which is actually at stake here because currently advertisers are looking at these CRPs, media buying agencies are looking at these CRPs to decide which channel to get ads. So it really is something which impacts uh, hundreds, thousands of crores of business. And uh, we are very glad that uh, Bach has decided itself that this uh, system must be re-looked at.